Hi everyone, I'm Gina from Gina K Designs, and today on Stamp TV I'm going to show you an elegant card project featuring the new Birthday Essential Stamp TV Kit. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this project. First you're going to need some stamps, and the stamps that I'm using are this pretty butterfly stamp and the For Your Birthday stamp, both from the Birthday Essentials Kit. For ink I'm using some Versamark, and along with the Versamark, I'm going to use an anti-static pad. This is the embossing magic pad. Then I'm going to use some embossing powders, and I have the black fine detail powder and the silver fine detail powder. I'm also going to use some dyes, and the dyes I'm going to use are first the uh, butterfly die from the Birthday Essentials Kit, and then I'm using the mini fanciful flourish die. For adhesive, I'm using some mono adhesive and some glue dots. And I'm also going to use some of the ThermoWeb sticky dots. These come in these smaller sheets. There's 12 sheets in a pack, and these are great for using for any die cuts that you want to adhere to your card front. Then, for cardstock and pattern paper, I'm using one of the patterns from the Delicate Essentials 6x6 pattern paper pack some of our black onyx cardstock, and a folded heavy base weight white card base. I'm also going to use a little bit of scotch tape, and then I'm going to use my new crossover die cutting machine by Cheery Lynn Designs. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to grab a piece of black onyx cardstock and I'm going to rub over the surface of that with the embossing magic pad. This is going to remove any static, also any oils or any other debris that's on the surface of the cardstock that would um, attract embossing powder. We only want the embossing powder to stick where we want it, just to the ink. Then I'm going to use some Versamark, and I'm going to stamp three of these butterflies. So, and it doesn't matter where you stamp them as long as you give a little bit of room around each one to be cut out with the die. So we'll put one up here, and give that ink a minute to transfer. There we go. And you should be able to see that because I made the piece of black onyx cardstock pretty dusty. Do one down here. And we'll do one more over here. Let's do that one right about here. Okay. So now we're going to need piece of paper. I have just a white piece of cardstock here that I can work on, and we're going to use the silver fine detail embossing powder. Let me grab this piece of folded paper, and I'm going to pour this all over those butterflies. You can see the way that looks. Lots of detail in these butterflies, so you want to use a detail embossing powder. And honestly, I've never found one that is as pretty as the one that we found and that we carry. I just love it. But whatever embossing powder you use, just make sure that you choose one that's a detail powder so all of this beautiful detail will show up. Okay, so now I'm going to emboss these with this heat tool, and you're going to see this come up so beautifully. And you don't want to burn uh, you don't want to burn the embossing powder because um, it's easy to do with the fine detail. So once that shows up nice and shiny and glossy, just move on to the next area. Wow, look at those. Aren't they so pretty? They look like tin or something, carved, some kind of carved metal. They're just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to let that cool for a second, and I'm going to grab this piece of pattern paper. And I'm going to run the embossing magic pad over this as well. And we're going to put a greeting on right onto the pattern paper. And the one I'm going to use is the For Your Birthday greeting. 
and I'm going to ink that up real well. Now this is a little trickier because it's kind of hard to see clear ink on a clear stamp going onto a very light shade of paper. It's hard to see that it's straight, but excuse my head if it gets in the way. But we're going to put that right about here. And then we're going to give that a minute to transfer. And we're going to use the black fine detail ink for uh, embossing powder for this. And I'll grab that piece of paper again and we will sprinkle this on. And that's what the greeting is going to look like. I always like to blow away any excess. And I'm going to return the embossing powder into my container. Get rid of this excess here. One really neat way to get rid of any glitter or embossing powder on your work surface is to use one of those Swiffer dusters. They work so well, but I don't have one with me, so I had to use my hand. Okay, so now I'm going to emboss this greeting. And again, this comes up pretty fast, especially on the thinner patterned paper. So you want to watch it for that shine so that you don't overcook. Okay. And now we have that beautiful greeting. You can see that shine there for your birthday. And this piece is going to get mounted onto a piece of black onyx. But I'm going to let that sit and cool for a minute because I don't want to smear it. It needs to cool. All right, so now the next step is to grab my new crossover machine. And this is, let me show you the front of this. This is the Cherry Lynn Designs new die cutting system. And this works with fabric, it works with paper, it works with all kinds of dies. And I will do a video at some point on some of the special settings and stuff that this has. But I wanna use this because it really cuts so nicely. Now, I am not sure if it's okay to do what I've done. I like to cut with my blade side down so I can see through the die. And in the instructions, it says to cut blade side up. But I don't mind getting my, um, my big plate all kind of cut up. That doesn't bother me at all. Some of them I've done upside down and you can see that my clear acrylic plate is also kind of cut up. I don't mind that. I think that it just looks more loved this way. So I like to do it this way. Now, what you might want to do is take a piece of scotch tape, especially when you're cutting out an image that is so close to the edge. And see the little feet, the way they slip into those little grooves? So I'm going to line this up perfectly. And then I'm going to put a little piece of tape on it, like that, just to hold it in place. Now I'm going to grab that big plate and put that on top. And I'm going to run it through. And you'll find that this really, really, there is no effort at all cranking this through. The thing doesn't move. It stays so stable, and there's no effort at all to get it to, to cut. And boy, does it ever cut nicely. Look at that. That just falls right out of the die. So that's the way you would cut out these butterflies. They're just getting cuter and cuter, aren't they? I think that we could make a really fun refrigerator magnets out of those or attach a paper clip underneath as a bookmark or a, a planner um, paper clip. I just love that. That's so pretty. And then we're also going to cut out some of these flourishes. So we'll need three flourishes and three butterflies cut out. So I'm just going to do one of each for you and I have the other ones already cut. So I'm going to run this through. And the thing that's neat about this machine is if it's not cutting well and you need to kind of make it a little tighter, it just has a dial on the top and you can just dial it a little bit tighter so that it presses harder. You don't need any shims, you don't need any extra pieces of paper, you don't need anything. Now, this is a very intricate cut, so I'll have to fiddle with it a little, but not because it's not cut all the way through, just because it kind of gets caught up on all of the other ends of the the paper, but you can see how easily that pulled out, and it's just perfect. Okay, so let me put this die cut machine away. 
I would highly recommend if you're looking for a new die cut machine and you want one that's going to last, check out Cherry Lynn Designs website and pick up this machine. It's great for quilters, it's great for everybody. All right, so now we're going to assemble this card. And I have run out of my dot adhesive, but I found an old regular mono adhesive, so that's what I'm using today. I like to try new things every once in a while, or things that I used to use, see if they've improved. And uh, this is working very well. Okay, so I'm going to adhere these two pieces together like that. I always like to use a little bit of extra tape around the perimeter when I emboss because sometimes the heat from the embossing gun warps your paper or cardstock a little bit. And now this whole panel is going to go onto my white card base. And we'll line that up. Okay. There we go. Now I've already pre-cut a few of these, plus the one that I just cut. Let me grab that one. And the first thing we're gonna do is lay down some of these flourishes. And to do that, I'm going to use some of this um, Sticky Dots paper by Thermoweb. Let me open this up. It's got two sheets. Well, it's got 12 sheets in the pack, but there are two sheets that are together. And one side, is kind of a protection paper, and the other side is the dots. Now these dots are very sticky, so they will get all over your fingers too. So just be a little bit cautious of that and maybe kind of rub them off before you touch your paper again. So with this, all you really have to do is just touch your die cut image to the dots, pull them off, and do the same thing again. Does want to stick. And you can see that's just picking up those sticky dots. Let me get those off my fingers. All right, so the first one I'm going to put right up in this area. I want it to go off that panel a little bit onto the white. And if you get any on the front, just take a pencil eraser and you can erase them right off and they'll just rub right off. I'm going to leave those there, though, because I'm going to put a butterfly over that. So, Okay, so there's my first one. Now my second one, I'm going to put kind of going down this way. So I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to touch all of those onto the sticky dot paper. And then peel them off. Now some of you might have a Xyron machine. You can use that as well. I think that's how you say it. All right, and we'll put this one, well, let's move it up just a little bit. Put it right about there. And just pat them down into place, like that. Okay, and then the last one is going to go over here like this. And one last time on this thermo web. I've got some on the back. I'll have to erase that with an eraser. They also sell a little erasing gum kind of thing that will get the excess stickery stuff off of your card fronts, but it's very similar to an eraser, and I'm sure you have a pencil laying around that you can use. Okay, my last one is going to go right out there. Okay, so now I have the flourishes. Now next I'm going to grab those butterflies and look at those. Aren't they so pretty? Can't get enough of those. And I'm going to do some glue dots here. I'll need three. Okay, so the first one I'm going to put right in the center of the back of that butterfly like that. And I'm going to just kind of wiggle that butterfly in half a little bit so he 
or she looks like they are flying off of the card. So we'll put that one right about, let's see, should we put it there? Probably should lay these out a little bit beforehand. Yeah, let's move this one down. We'll put it right about here. Like that. Okay. Then the next one, and you can pick them up and move them if they're not perfect. Get that next glue dot on there and fold that in half a little bit and we'll put that one here. And then the last one, we'll put about there. And you can fold it first if you want. There's the last glue dot going on and it doesn't really matter how you place them. You can try all different ways. I'll show you the card sample I made earlier. I placed them a little bit differently, but both of them look very pretty. Now look at this shimmer and sparkle in this card. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then if you're going to mail them, you can just flatten them out a little bit more and maybe put a little piece of cardstock on top just to protect everything. But there is my finished card project. And the one I made earlier today, the butterflies are just going in some different directions. So you can see to try them all different ways and see which one you like the best. I think I'm kind of liking the one I made now. So that's my finished card project. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV Kit video. Stay tuned for more projects featuring the new Birthday Essential Stamp TV kit, and thanks for watching.